Hello folks, this is Mystic38, and I'm just going to do a quick review of um, the uh, new CC recording playback features of Machine 2.0. So uh, what I have here is a highly complex one-note project, um, and uh, I just using it uh, in, in MIDI mode here, I've got uh, the input coming from my uh, Virus TI, and the output going back to the Virus TI as straight as MIDI. Okay, so the audio here is just directly in, into the interface uh, from the, the virus TI. So, um, you know, let me just uh, get this going. And um, so you tell we have a bit of uh, an evolving uh, patch here. So at this point, it's uh, extremely easy to, um, to add modulation after the fact. As I can just hit record and then come over and then just start playing with the module something like that uh, and you see it does not overwrite the top of the modulation um, let me just stop that for a second it does not overwrite the top uh, of the modulation when it uh, loops around uh, it's only sensing for changes um, in cc value so, you know, the first pass you have of doing a nice sweep of modulation, uh, just leave the control alone and, and it will just stick there. So, you know, now if we just play that back, we'll get... Okay, you'll hear that, um, you know, the modulation is being applied. All right, so, um, okay, that's, that's kind of no big deal. Um, but um, all right, so let's just clear that out for a second and um, let's uh, do something slightly different because um, that used to work on 1.8. Okay, you could record modulation and it, and it would play back. So, but things like um, cutoff resonance, all those sort of things, uh, there was really nothing in, in 1.8. So, um, what I'm going to do is we'll play that again and, um, you know, we will uh, fiddle with the cutoff. Okay, so as you can tell, that's that's being affected quite nicely, and um, and you know, as you see, we've got a little indicator down here that what that uh, cut off on the virus is CC forty, uh, so that's um, that's what was being recorded. So now you might think, okay, fine. So I can save the pattern, and this is perfectly usable, you know, with the virus on the, on this um, uh, group and sound combination anytime I like. But what if I want to use a different synth? Okay, well, funny you should mention that. Uh, I have uh, connected uh, to my uh, Moto Express box here a uh, a Novation Nova. All right, and uh, I've just got what have I got? Some kind of synth strings slash pad patch on that over there. But um, obviously, you know, if you're a gearhead, you know that, you know, the CC values are not constant. Um, so cutoff might be CC40 on the virus. It's not on the Nova. But in fact, I actually do know what it is. And it is 105. So one thing I just recently discovered is you come down here, if you right click uh, the place where you can select it to write it, you can uh, keep your pattern all right and just change its assignments all right so um so that's pretty cool so if i play it now it obviously will be a different tone because you know the virus isn't playing it's the nova but um Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, so that means you can use, um, you know, you can use this to, to do some translation mapping, in fact. So um, what this also means to you is if you don't have um, uh, knobs and controllers, you know, what you can do, say, you know, you're travel, traveling light and you just have a tiny little keyboard with just a mod wheel, is you can... Um, uh, you can, let's go back to the virus and do it on that. Just so, okay, video out, MIDI in, still the virus, okay. Um, what you can do 
is um, let's do this a couple of different ways. Okay, so let's let's um, play this note and we'll record some modulation. Okay, we'll catch it on the next time round. I'll give you an example of what I was uh, just trying to tell you there. So we're recording. Okay, so we've captured that. Obviously, that's going to just. Right, that's clearly adequately distorting that. But, you know, say I do this, so now I can reassign that to 40. Okay, uh, so that will affect the cutoff. All right, but now if I hit, uh, leave that going, hit record. I can record another modulation envelope. Not envelope, I'm lying, but another, another curve, okay? So uh, with just one external controller, you could actually map yourself a huge number uh, of different um, uh, automation frames, okay? And uh, I have this set up here. You'll notice that with the grid thing, it will quantize to the grid. If you leave that free running, you will get a huge uh, amount of automation data. Uh, 16th might be a little too uh, steppy. Um, you might want to try um, a 32nd. I certainly wouldn't go above 64th, though. All right, so um, in summary here, you can record just from one external CC source, say a mod wheel, uh, and use that to drive everything you have. Um, this is not just for uh, external gear either. Uh, because the other thing you could do is say, ooh, you know, I want to keep that. Um, I did a nice sweep. Obviously, you know, machine doesn't support straight lines or curves. But say you managed to hand put one in, you could also um, just come and. And OK, so here we have some synth strings. Um, get rid of the, the MIDI out and, um, you know. Now we have we have uh, some synthesized strings there on FM8, and um, you know the mod wheel in this case I think uh, adds some vibrato. But I suppose we could find out, couldn't we? Okay, so um, the uh, automation lane, you know, stays with the pattern. So regardless of the sound source, um, you can change the assignment of the automation pattern uh, to any CC you like, which makes a great deal of flexibility, particularly if you just have a, uh, a single input like a mod wheel. Okay, uh, that's it. Mystic 38 out.